Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I just got back from Dollar Tree and they had actually a good bit of stuff in stock, which is kind of shocking because my Dollar Tree is usually sort of empty because they don't really have a lot of people that work there that are able to stock and do the truck. They had all kinds of Valentine's Day stuff. They were starting to put out Easter stuff and they were starting to put out St. Patrick's Day stuff. So, you know, the shelves were full. So it was a good day at Dollar Tree. So I found a good mix of stuff today and I want to show you guys what I got. First I picked up um, some dish soap just because you can get this giant thing of dish soap at Dollar Tree for a dollar. I mean it's 50 ounces. That's like almost as much as you would get at like Sands or somewhere for a dollar. Uh, they had a bunch of different scents. I got the citrus one but I don't like to spend money on things that, you know, you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on. I picked up, I picked up some dish pods. They have the dish pods at Dollar Tree. Normally I buy these at Aldi, but I forgot to pick them up yesterday while I was at Aldi. So I grabbed two packs of these. I don't think I've ever used this brand before. So it says Ultra Shine. It's just a Dollar Tree brand. So we'll see how these work out. Um, the ones from Aldi are really great. And they're, I think, $2.50 for like 20 of them. So these were $2 for 20 of them. Um, but hopefully they'll work just as well. I picked up this really cute Valentine's chalkboard. Um, it's got glitter all over it. I'm going to be doing a really cute DIY video with this chalkboard. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to see that. Um, I'm going to be doing some really cute hand lettering on it and decorating it and kind of making it into like a door hanger, um, which would be a great gift or, you know, just for your house. It'd be super cute. So make sure you're subscribed for that. It'll be going up sometime next week. this up it's a little candle and it's made to look you can see it kind of like a wine glass um this is the sweet moscata one they also had a rosé scented one and they had a tus it's a tuscany on it tuscany scented one um but it's made to look like a little wine glass with the cork in it, it smells really good really good for a dollar tree handle the other two were kind of questionable um this one, just, this one has a really light, fresh scent to it, though. I like it a lot. So I picked this one up uh, for my bathroom. So I'm redoing my bathroom. That's why you haven't seen the rest of it. Um, I'm completely redoing it. Uh, if you caught my KonMari declutter of my bathroom a couple videos back, I'll link it down below. Um, but that was my part one, and part two will be going up in the next few days. So bought this because I'm completely redecorating my bathroom. Um, oh, I also bought this for my bathroom because I thought it was really cute. Something funny that I do is I collect banks, like piggy banks. I was really excited when I found this guy. He's a little, like, hedgehog creature, but he's a bank. How cute is that? He's gold. So I got him to go with my candle. And they can kind of it back there. Put it back there. Um, so I picked this up. I don't really know what it is. It says Yo-Yo Surprise. It's the only one they had, but I thought it was super cute. Just a little Yo-Yo Surprise toy. It says collect them all. I guess it's kind of like a, like a surprise blind bag kind of thing. And then I got... These are really cool. These are kind of like the coloring books, but instead they have these little wooden sticks in them and you can scratch it and then it makes the, like it'll, it'll look like this up here once you scratch it off. Um, I love to pick up things, things, things like this are really good to pick up throughout the year if you do 
the Samaritan's Purse, the shoe boxes where you um, fill up a shoe box and they send it to kids overseas who don't get anything for Christmas. Um, so definitely keep an eye out if you're at Dollar Tree for stuff like this and you want to participate in that. It's a really good organization. Let's see. It's everything in that bag. Not very organized here. I apologize. Uh, these I pick up. These are what I use to ship my Poshmark stuff in, if you sell on Poshmark. Um, but I like to put clothes, you know, anything in these bags. That way, you know, they're not just loose in the mailer. So that way the plastic will keep them dry, hopefully. I've never had any pro problems, but you get 15 for a dollar and they're super good quality. Or if you wanted to use these for food, they're really good quality. They're the, um, the gallon size ones. Yeah. Yeah, gallon size storage bag. Um, so they're the bigger bags, but they're really good quality, much, much cheaper than the name brand. So I pick these up. Um, I try to keep them whenever I can. Whenever I'm in there, I pick up a couple boxes every time I go. So I picked up two boxes of those. These I thought were cute. Um, I don't know if you watch Alicia Marie's channel. She is super awesome, but she has this like agenda planner type thing. It looks like a little binder is what it looks like and it like closes, but she has these little notebooks that you put in it. I thought it was a really good idea because it, it will hold several different notebooks in it. So you get these little notebooks. So I picked these up. You get the notebooks. And then the binder will hold the notebooks. Oh, they have llamas on them. How cute is that? Uh, but it holds the notebooks all together in one thing. So you can have like a notebook for different things. Like one for your to-do, one for groceries, one for, you know, things you need to remember. So I found the notebooks. Now I just need to find the little binder thing to keep the notebooks in. Anybody knows what I'm talking about, please comment down below if you know where to get one of the little binders to keep these notebooks in. It, they attach into it with like a rubber band or something. So if you know what I'm talking about, comment down below and let me know if you have one and where you got it. Pretty please, pretty please. Um, yeah, those are my notebooks. They're just like lined on the inside. They come in a pack of three for a dollar. They had some other prints too, but I just picked up the three pack for now. I picked up some razors. Um, I buy guys razors because they tend to work better for one thing. And then I don't like to pay extra for women's razors. Like they had these in a pack of five. The women's ones were all in packs of three. And it's like, why why can't the women's ones be in packs of five, too? Maybe they do have packs of five, but they didn't at mine. But if you go to Walmart and you look at the women's razors and then you go look at the men's, the men's razors are way cheaper than the women's razors. And they're the exact same thing. This drives me crazy. But anyways, I picked up the men's razors. Um, I just try to pick these up whenever I'm at Dollar Tree. So they're super cheap there. This I was really excited to find. It is a name brand facial cleanser. Uh, it's by e.l.f. It's the Hydrating Gel Mint Melt Cleanser with purified water, argan oil, and rose extract. So I was really excited to find this. I would seen it in a couple of other Dollar Tree hauls, and I was wondering if my Dollar Tree would ever have anything like this. Um, sometimes I find name brand cosmetics there. Once in a blue moon. Today was the blue moon. Today literally was the blue moon. Ooh. But anyway, I found it. If you heard about the blue super moon, that's what I'm talking about. Um, Elf Hydrating Mask Melt Cleanser. Let's see what it looks like. So it's a cleanser cream. Um, doesn't really have a scent to it, but it looks kind of like a gel. Yeah, feels kind of like a gel too. So it's supposed to be really good at getting makeup off. 
So I'm excited to try this. Like this huge jar with a dollar. How awesome is that? And it's name brand. So I will be using this with my Clarisonic. Um, I have the Clarisonic Mia 2. If you are interested in that, I will link it down below. But it has like changed my life, my Clarisonic. Love it. We'll never use anything else. Can't wait to use this with it. Um, last thing. This is also a name brand. And I was really excited to find this. Um, these are the Yes to Carrots makeup wipes. Makeup wipes are expensive if you get the name brand ones. So I try to be semi-conscious of what I'm putting on my skin. So I was excited to find these at the Dollar Tree. Name brand, uh, it says Yes to Carrots Nourishing Fragrance-Free Gentle Cleansing Wipes. Um, they do remove makeup. Yeah, gently glide across your face and neck to rid your skin of impurities and makeup. I'm constantly needing these, especially like when I'm traveling. I use these every single day. So I picked up two of them. I might go back and get more if they have any more. But anytime I can like find these for a dollar, the name brand makeup wipes, I always pick them up. Yeah, so that is my Dollar Tree haul for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will be going back to get some of the Easter stuff once they get all that put out because they have a lot of Easter candy that they're putting out. They had a ton of St. Patrick's Day stuff if you're going somewhere for St. Patrick's Day. And Valentine's Day is coming up. So I have a couple different videos planned for Valentine's Day. I hope that you will subscribe for those. Um, I'll be doing, like I said, this DIY with the chalkboard. If you want to learn how to do a hand-lettered chalkboard, stay tuned for that. Um, just make sure you're subscribed and click the little bell and you'll get a notification as soon as I post a video. I try to post a video almost every single day. Um, sorry if I miss a day or if something happens, but I try to post every day. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Dollar Tree haul. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions or comments for me, leave them down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks, you guys. Bye.